Have you ever heard the old adage, if you want to go fast, go alone, and if you want to go far, go together? Well, meet Kevin, his philosophies, if you want to go fast and far, go alone. My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design, and today's video is meet Kevin's partnership strategy exposed, and here's what he missed. Okay, so I'm in Meet Kevin's Mastermind and I was just in Santa Monica with him and spent the entire day with him and everyone else in the Mastermind. And it was epic. We were laughing, we were asking questions, we were strategizing. A lot of people got some really good insights and connections and so, I absolutely think Kevin's intelligent. I think he's brilliant. He's way more successful than me. However, we were talking about partnerships and what I found was he doesn't like partnerships. We even joked about it, right? And I think Kevin's right in the bigger macro picture. But there is one thing I think he missed and that's this. If you're just starting out, you need a partnership and here's why you don't have the capital you don't have the experience you don't have the skills and you don't have the emotional quotient to be able to handle the challenges that come your way most times as a beginner you don't have the funds to actually start investing in deals and being able to create these big cash flowing deals also you don't even have the skills at most of the time You've watched a few YouTube videos, you talked to some people, maybe you went up to a networking event, a meetup event, and you just started learning and reading. And so you don't have the skills yet. You actually gotta learn how to underwrite a deal. You have to learn how to negotiate with agents and things like that. And so you don't have those skills yet. Plus you don't have the experience. There's no reputation that you have. You're just starting out. So why not piggyback off of someone else that has that experience, who has the skills, might even have the capital. They don't always have to, but they have the skills and the capital to be able to move deals forward. And if you're in the beginning stages, Let's be honest, you haven't been tested. You haven't been battle tested before. And so you don't know what it's like when someone doesn't pay you rent, when an agent blows you off or a contractor doesn't show up when they say they are, you can get distraught. You can get bent out of shape. The worst thing that I found is you can start creating these limiting beliefs like, I don't think this is for me. Real estate isn't for you? Cash flow is not for you, really? Or is it just you had a bad experience and therefore you kind of on a macro level made a global statement that created this story and this belief that says you're not good enough to invest, it's not for you, and therefore you never go back into it. A good mentor and a good coach would show you and separate the two experiences. You had a bad experience, but that doesn't mean it's always like that. In fact, when you actually have a thought, it must not be meant for me or I must not be made for this. There's a dichotomy thought. There's an opposite thought that's there that it is made for me. It is, it is for me. I am made for this, right? If they can do it, so can I. And so while I understand where Kevin's coming from because Kevin is experienced, He's knowledgeable, he studies his butt off in his industry, he does the thing, he practices, he screwed up, he learned, he tests, he tries. And for him, he doesn't need to partner with anyone because he knows it all. And if he doesn't, he pays to find out and he has people he'll pay to do the things for him that he doesn't wanna do or maybe the lower hanging fruit stuff. And that's way better than giving up equity or a portion of the business, whatever it might be. And so for him, it's he's right. He absolutely should not partnership. But if it's you and you're just starting your walk on financial freedom, I encourage you to partner up with someone. Now, I wouldn't say if you have capital to partner right away, because if you don't have the knowledge, you might partner with someone that is not in high integrity and they could take your capital and run and you just don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know how to protect yourself or anything like that. And you could lose your money. But I will say this, the best way to partner with someone and to make sure it works out to the best of your ability is always start with the divorce in mind. So if you're partnering someone, I heard this from my friend AJ Osborne, who's really big in self storage. I learned this from him. And that is you must talk about everything that happens, roles and responsibilities. What if someone's not doing their role? What if they're not doing their responsibilities? What happens if someone, your partner dies? Does it go to you? Does their wife or husband? What happens to, with control of the business and voting shares or the equity? Like who does that go to? And so you wanna look at every single thing that can go wrong and have a solution for it before you move forward in a partnership. And then always have an attorney look over your 
side of it so that you can see if you're protected or not. That is how I do partnerships. So when I do do them is I will look at every possible scenario that could go wrong. We sit down, we find a solution, kind of like a schematic. I did electronics in the Marine Corps. If, if it didn't fail here, you had to come down here and then you had to go test these two and it was just, uh, I forget a lot of it, but I remember it was a nightmare. Um, but you wanna have a solution. And so that you know, if this doesn't happen, you go here. If this happens, you go here. And that's how you protect yourself. Always backed by an attorney. And I don't see how you can't win in that scenario. Now, again, I won't say if you don't make money or something goes wrong and you have to execute on dissolving the partnership, that stinks, but to me, that's a win. Why? Because now you know exactly what has to happen. There's no emotions around this whole situation. And so you do that and you gain experience, you gain skills, you gain that emotional quotient where you're strong when those challenges come. I'm telling you over time, over a period of time, Kevin's right, you won't have to partner with people. The only thing you might need to partner with is capital. But if you have a business that's a golden goose and it just prints money month in and month out and you can take that and put that in real estate, you'll accelerate financial freedom. But if you're first jumping into this game and you don't have money and you're trying to create financial freedom, work on learning skills, experience, and knowledge. You're gonna have to do the grunt work for these experienced people, learn their skill sets, and then you'll learn the skill sets of raising money, raising capital, and then all of a sudden, you'll be able to go out there and create deals if you get good at creating deals. Notice I didn't say find deals, create deals, because if you wanna take responsibility in your life and you wanna succeed, you've got to make sure that you are a creator and not someone that's just trying to blindly, you know, oh, what's out there? No, you gotta go create deals. And that's a whole another video we can do on that. So with that, that's Kevin's strategy. And I shared with you why I disagree with it in the beginning. But as you get better, I agree with him. So the difference is, are you a beginner or are you super experienced? And that is how I would determine what your strategy is around partnerships moving forward. So with that, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, notification button, so you know when other videos are coming out. And if you found this video valuable, Comment below, what's the one thing you took away from this video that's gonna help you moving forward? So my name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Thanks for watching, see you guys.